Welcome to this tutorial, creating a custom line type in AutoCAD. Uh, as you can see, I already have a shape here. Um, it's a so continuous polyline. Uh, some shapes you can't use, such as arcs uh, and I think circles. So if you're going to do that, um, create them uh, using polylines. Uh, and then you'll be able to use your shape otherwise it won't work okay so the first thing to note is that I have the shape starting at 0, 0.00 it's really um, handy to have that there as you'll see for inserting the shape file once we create it um, just a good habit to be in so the first thing we want to do is create this uh, polyline uh, turn it into a shape. So to do that, go to Express Tools, and then we go over to uh, Tools. Uh, we come down, and we go to Make Shape. So it's going to ask us, what do we want to call the shape? We'll call it uh, Wave. You can call it whatever you like. Um, now it asks at the command prompt down here, enter the name of the shape. We'll just type Wave again hit enter. Uh, resolution, uh, it's good to up that a bit um, if you have sort of curves like I do. So I'll make it 512. Uh, insert the base point. So you can either click on the base point at the beginning where you want the line type to start or type 00, zero and finally select objects and hit space or enter. Uh, we've now created a shape this is what the line type will use. First thing we need to do though is insert the shape. So type shape, enter the name of the shape, call it wave, you just put whatever you called it. Now ask for the insertion point, put zero, zero, and just enter, enter. Now we have the shape in there as you can see, it just has the insertion point. Uh, we still have the polyline underneath as you can see so the next thing to do is create the line type so back in Express Tools go to Tools make line type okay now we'll save the line type somewhere uh, I'll call it wave save enter line type name call it wave enter you can enter a description uh, I usually just leave that blank. It's not necessary. Uh, starting point. See, this is where having the polyline in there um, still very useful because now we can select um, the polyline to define the line. Um, so we'll click the starting point at zero zero, and then we'll select the end point. And finally, select objects. Hit space or enter. Okay, we should have created our line type now. So draw a line, L, uh, space or enter. Just pick anywhere. So we've got a continuous line there. Go back up to Home tab, select your continuous line, and then we can see Wave. And there you have a custom line type. Now you can do that with many different shapes and sizes. One thing I'd recommend too is um, if you've set your line type scale, let's go to LT. Um, first thing you should do is set up what scale you want to be working in. I've just used the one to one. Um, but if you're like working at one to twenty, um, set that as uh, twenty, and that way when you go to create your line type, um, it'll be at the scale that you're normally working with. As you can see, I changed it to 20 and now you can't see it. Um, so if I change it back to 1, you can see it again. Um, also, creating uh, a, a line shape at the scale that you want to work with um, allows you to work, say, this the shape object that we created here. It, a normal one-to-one -one scale um, so that every time you use the line type in the future it'll always be at the exact scale that you want 
Uh, I know that's a little bit confusing. Hopefully you can follow what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, that concludes this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks.